The premiere of Shrinking Season 2 certainly had many realizations in it for all the characters. Jimmy visits Grace, who at the end of Season 1 pushed her husband off a cliff because he's abusive. Part of the reason for this was thanks to Jimmying, the untraditional way Jimmy has been treating his patients that we saw in the first season. While it didn't hurt anyone, it definitely did when Grace decided to go through with her actions. She's now in prison, and her husband is alive, but paralyzed, and he might not walk again. She's rightfully angry at Jimmy, and he feels guilty, even bringing in his lawyer friend Brian to represent her. But Grace doesn't want to hear any of it. Sean is the one who coined the term Jimmying, and Jimmy is definitely a fan of it. Though through the episode, he comes to the realization that he's actually hurting Sean in some ways. And none other than Paul, of course, is the one to tell him this. By the end of Shrinking Season 2, Episode 1, it's very bittersweet to see Sean not Jimmy's patient anymore. But they both know this is the best for him, and he had to let him go. But he won't be far. Sean is still living with him. Speaking of Sean, he and Liz have opened up their food truck, and it seems to be going well so far, which is great to see. Then there's Gabby. Unfortunately, she's caught feelings for her friend while they've been hooking up though she knows that Jimmy doesn't feel the same way. It's just casual for him. And it's been fun for them both, but she wants more. And with this realization, she's stuck between a rock and hard place. Paul also realizes his feelings for his girlfriend, Dr. Julie, though not before pushing her away first. Gabby points out that the two have been spending lots of time together, and this scares Paul at first, though eventually he comes around we all know he has a soft side, and the two confess their love for each other. Not in the most romantic way. But it was very fitting of the way their relationship is. Alice is doing much better, though she's worried about her dad, and that he might spiral again. She's so happy he's in the place where he's at right now, and confides all of this to Paul. Their chats are always a highlight of an episode. And what's great about the start of this season is seeing Alice and Jimmy being open with each other, versus how they kept things from each other last season. She shares her feelings with him, and he reassures her he's fine. And he is, up until Jimmy gets a surprise visitor at his office. It's the drunk driver who hit Tia's car and caused her accident. He's come to apologize to Jimmy, but he quickly spirals and shouts at him to leave. We're left on the cliffhanger of Alice asking Jimmy how his day was, and he answers the same way he did after Tia's death. Shrinking Season 2, Episode 2 picks up with Jimmy now calmed down and trying to find the right time to tell Alice what happened and who came to visit him at the clinic. However, Alice is too busy thinking about her driving license photo that she's about to go and get if she hopefully passes the test. Our girl does, though she's not too keen on driving right away. It takes a while to muster up the courage to do so, and it's because of the way her mom died. It's so sad. I wanted to give Alice a big hug. Eventually, Jimmy is able to tell Alice about the drunk driver showing up to his office, and he blurts it out in the most funny way possible. Jimmy? Alice's friend recommends she write a letter, even if she's not going to send it, to the drunk driver to get all her feelings out and tell him what she'd say to him if he was going to read it. She does so, though she goes a step further. Alice eventually is able to drive, and she drives straight to the drunk driver's house and watches him through the window. The other major takeaway from the episode is the huge fight that happens between Gabby and Jimmy. Despite her telling him that she's catching feelings so they need to stop what they're doing, he shows up with the red underwear on that she likes. It wasn't necessarily his intention for them to sleep together. He wanted to bring by a care package. But the fact that he's wearing the underwear suggests he was also planning for it just in case. This, of course, upsets Gabby and makes her angry because she told him how she feels, and he chose to ignore that. He's only hurting her more, and Jimmy wasn't respectful of that. Jimmy was definitely in the wrong. But whoever said that he makes the best choices, right? He's come a long way and is learning, but he definitely has more learning to do. I never really liked this relationship to start with, so... Hopefully it's the end of it now.